coming and looking for it was Kuwazuru. American staying staunch on defence though. Walk over the ball. This has been a very good start. And here's Perry Baker. And he'll have a stroll to the goal line. Even strolls quickly. <laughs> the man from Daytona Beach in Florida making a real impact since coming on. Gets the last try and seals a very good win for the United States. First up here in Wellington. The coach wanted to be a little more, a bit more aggressive in the second half. Affect the tackles. They did that. Turnovers were costly for Japan. And another great finish from Perry Baker. Again. The flying Carlin Isles, regarded as one of their pin-up boys, has actually been benched for another American football convert, the equally dangerous Perry Baker, wearing number 11. He's a slightly larger version of Carlin Isles. Came to nothing because Gobelet got up and won it for France. And now here's Delmas getting on the outside. Tackle made by Perry Baker. Bulrawa having a little sneak down the short side. Oh, good watch by Perry Baker. Made sure that he grabbed him, threw him into touch, and they've taken it quickly. So here. Duratalo getting in amongst it and forcing the turnover, and it's scooped up by Baker, the danger man. Away it goes to Danny Barrett, and the Americans are in for their second. Well, Perry Baker... Hasn't had any ball on attack, but he's done some great work in defence, and on that occasion at the breakdown, was well, straight over that ball, released it. You see him here okay. at halfback, passes it out, uses the speed, draws in the last two defenders, and then Danny Barrett had no one in front of him, was never going to be stopped. Well done. And here is Vakatawa, the big man, but it's been intercepted, picked off again by Perry Baker. What a first half he's had. Hughes. France looking to regain the defensive structure, but they're not going to stop this fellow. Away he goes, Baker. There's that blinding speed we were talking about. And the USA goes end to end for their third try. Well, he's been the dominant figure in this first seven minutes for the United States, Perry Baker. Getting it done on both sides of the ball. He made a tackle. He got up, got in position to receive this pass. This is a one-on-one. -on -one. The French best against the United States best. And the number 11 for the USA comes out on top. How smooth is he across the ground? Well, people might have been wondering why it was that Carlin Isles, the man that we've heard and read and seen so much about in recent years, why he's been left out of the side. Well, there's your answer. Madison Hughes with the easy conversion... And quickly taken by Test, looking to re-establish the dominance of the first half. Nice offload away to Josepo, who's on the field now. He gets it away to Baker, who's shown himself to be useful in close quarters as well as the wide open spaces. And talking of which, Zach Test powers through for another try for the USA. We just lifted the tempo, didn't he, Zach Test? He gets him for his double in game two for the United States. He's the one that grabbed the ball from the kickoff, ran 20 metres to take the quick tap and use some urgency. To see him here offloading the ball. There's a guy, nice little interplay in short corridors first from Josefo, then Perry Baker. Numbers in and around the ball, pops up for Zach Test and look at the determination on the face. He was never going to be stopped. Well done, Zach Test. Team way up top left, you see Perry Baker. He scored a, a try in each of the games so far. Give Five. him the ball in clear space, and he can run Set. away just as Ciabello Sanatla can for South Africa. Now, can they get the ball out to Baker? There he is waiting, but through goes Yunufe. Halfway line, look at the speed back by Africa. Here's Baker! What a lovely start for USA, Perry Baker. He's got a try in every game. This guy who's come in to Rugby Union just months ago, and he is a star bursting on the USA Rugby 7 scene. I was about to criticise him because Anufi did the initial hard work and broke the line, looked for him, but he knew better. He knew the ball would be recycled. He's got a lovely running style.
a brilliant gate, as they say, Keith. And this is just what Mike Friday ordered. Just seconds to go in the first half. The South Africans have obviously had a very good look at the points difference. There's the advantage of having the Rattala to Baker. <laughs> well, it's close enough to the posts to make it all tied up at half time. One of the real players making an impact for me is the new feet. He's breaking the line on a number of occasions and he's asking questions of the South African defence and then you just give it to the man with the wheels, the gas, the pace and he'll do the rest. This to draw even from Hughes. What a ball game. What a fantastic first half. But have a look. Here he is, Anufi going through. Sanatla came in, the offload there and Africa had no chance.